my uh, handle is XYZ Simo, and I'm doing this little video. I don't normally do this, to be honest with you, and I'm not that experienced, but I saw other people on the internet had a similar problem to mine. I mean, loads of guys. Um, I thought um, I'd put this on as I seem to have been able to solve this with, let me tell you, zero mechanical um, confidence and knowledge. First of all, <laughs> the problem. This was in six months um, hibernation, if you like, and I come to get it out and I noticed that the roof wouldn't go down. What happened, the, the, the windows came down in increments of about a few inches at a time till right at the bottom, and then nothing else happened. That was it, I put the windows up again, and that was it, dead. I, I thought it was an electrical problem or something. Went on the internet, saw some guy called Zach about resetting the motors. Um, that's easily done. You simply <coughs> press the down button here. You're obviously familiar with it. Put your keys in, do two clicks of the ignition key while holding the button down. That allegedly resyncs everything, which is probably a good measure to do anyway. Um, I then started the engine because I prefer to have the engine running when I'm doing the hood um, so it doesn't drain the battery too much. What um, I did to solve the problem, getting to the point, is that these two things here, which I assumed would be sensors and something tied up with the electronics, to confirm to the management system that the boot, or trunk as you call it in the States, is shut down. These were a little stiff, I mean they, they did go in and out, but I thought I'd put some stuff on them anyway, put some WD-40 lubricant, put them on these two things, push them in and out again to, to make sure the lubricant was in there, put it down, went back in the car, pressed the down button on the hood, and hey presto, here we have my old E46 or whatever it is, uh, 323 back with the roof down. I've tried it a few times and it all works fine. So I hope that this is of some help to you guys there that um, clearly there's a lot of people who have a similar problem with cars of this age, um, some of which have even sadly sold them as a result, when all you need is a bit of lubricant, like to say. And these two little things on the, uh, on the boot there. I hope this works for you guys. All the best. Bye.